Good morning everyone, welcome to the channel. So this is Colouring Heavens issue 85, Wildwood Witches Special. It's just arrived, I've just took the plastic off so that I can flip through it with you. So there are 40 exclusive magical designs by Steve Hutton. Now I've never heard of Wildwood Witches so I'm obviously missing out on something here. Let's get going. Okay, let me move my pencil case out of the way. So, Colouring Heaven. Half price at the moment. If you join at the moment, you can get 50% off. There you go. So let's have a look. So what these are, Wildwood Witches. Tells you a little bit about um, the Wildwood Witches there. It's a realm created by artist and author Steve Hutton. How many... Yeah, okay, so there's a little bit there. And then here we go. So that first one there, you get a little bit of writing about the image and the colours that they might be wearing. Yeah, so this, that first one, number one, it says Colours of Season Seed Fall. I don't know what that means, have to look it up. And then this one, image number two, surrounded by, it's got, she's got a badger and a fox. A hat with a snake coming out of it, potion bottles, dagger. This one says, Colours of the Season, Moon Frost. Annie is skilled in all matters of health and communication. She was charged with attending Lillian during her time with a he of healing at Wildwood. Oh, there must be a story. I don't know. I'm going to have to research it. But aren't the images beautiful? I won't read you each side, but this is, yeah, number three. Look at that. Look at that little creature there, hanging on to her staff. They're very cool images, very cool. Let me put it in the computer and see what happens. Am I just being dim? Am I the only person in the whole world that doesn't know, love this image? This is called Bramble Brother. Look at that spider. It's got his little specks on. So you can see what's going on. So, let me put it in. Wild wood. Witches. I'm just going to put fairies. And see what it comes up with while we're flipping. I love this image. I love the fairy. Uh, so it says wildwoodwitches.co.uk. Let's have a look. Oh wow. It says Wildwood is a gallery of beautiful artwork for lovers of everything magical. Like any, oh, so it's, this is the gallery of them. Let's try, I you get certain pictures up there. Of course my computer's decided to start doing a scan. But I love this picture. Oh look at the face in that tree. And she's surrounded by all the little cats. Oh, go away scan and then I can tell my lovely friends what this is all about. So it says, let me get a home and see what we can get. Oh, there's a, there's a gallery of the pictures. Introduction. Sorry. Much of Wildwood is fiction, but not all. It's in the late 19th century. Magic is outlawed and somewhere in northwest Britain, we find a hidden coven, 52 witches in all. This is Wildwood. There you go. So if you go to, I'll try and link it down below, uh, wildwoodwitches.co.uk, um, some of these images might well be on their gallery. But that's really helpful if you, like me, like to um, copy images and get it right. Now I think that one is the first one. Let me just check. So I'm giving, yes. So these images are online if you would like some inspiration or to copy them 
I will link the website down below because the images are absolutely glorious when they're coloured in. They really are. And they all got their own unique colours, um, their own unique meaning. I think that one I'm just looking at is... We've seen that one somewhere, but yeah, I'll keep going. But yeah, that's really exciting. So you can actually um, replicate the colours. I mean, look at that one with her flying through the air. Isn't that incredible? I'm seeing if I can find it. I found the one with the face in the tree that we just looked at. Um, God, they're amazing people. I'm, so, I'm sorry I can't show you. But gosh, they're beautiful images. Oh, gorgeous, gorgeousness. Absolutely stunning. <laughs> Look at this one. Daisy and the dandelion. Like he's laying in a massive dandelion and she's tickling his tummy. Oh, that's so cute, isn't it? Oh, folks, we might have to do one of these. We've got to do Kelly's calendar. <coughs> and then I've got a few <coughs> videos lined up. Excuse me, but I don't see why we couldn't do one of these. They are beautiful. This one's called Dog Rose. How clever is that? <laughs> I like that. It's very clever. <laughs> oh, we snatched a wand. Uh-oh. Oh, they're so beautiful, these images. Look at the how I've been left blank where the sun ray comes down. Isn't that clever? Um... She's pretty, isn't she? Look at her clothes. Oh, isn't that pretty? They're all so beautiful. I'm so excited about that, this. Now I've found the website as well. This is called Farewell. So she's saying goodbye to her dragon. Oh, oh they're so pretty. Flora. She's the coven's most gifted garden worker. Flora is. Uh, fox gloved. Oh, that's really clever look. So you've got little foxes in a glove with a little fairy sitting by her. Aren't they beautiful images, people? I'm really excited about this. Very different. Is it a crazy cat lady, maybe? <laughs> Oh, look at her clothes. Excuse me. Hiccups. Look at her clothes. And that tree house in the background. I'm still clicking as I turn the page, trying to find images that I've, we've got in the book. Oh, beautiful. Looks like Earth over there. Or just the moon, however you want to do it. Yes, it would have to be the moon, wouldn't it, Lucy? Because it's, yes, it's set in England, not in space. Yeah, you'll have to excuse me, folks. My brain is not working. Oh, my gosh. Look at that. Little red riding. Oh, isn't that gorgeous? Oh, she sat on his little nose. That's so cool, that picture. I love it. Oh, I hope that one's coloured in. And she's got a badger friend. Midnight flight. Was oh, a little unicorn? Oh, night and day. Look, that looks like is it a kestrel? Maybe. Her plaits. Look at her. It's like part of her. No, it looks like tattoos on her arms. Queen of Hearts, a dark figure of many witch myths and folk tales. Of many witch myths and folk tales. Look at her. Wow. You don't want to mess with her. <laughs> oh, so beautiful. Raven's Wand. Isn't she lovely? Oh, Rebecca Parsley. Uh, So she says, it says she's granted an audience with the dragon toad, a, med a mediator between earth and whatever. 
ruination, sorry. Moss fairies have gathered to witness the event. So these must be the little moss fairies. Look at the face on the <laughs> tree stump. That's so cool. Gosh, this is lovely. This is so lovely. What do you think, folks? Do you like it? This one's called Relics. Oh, I like the wolves around her. Gorgeous. Ah, look at that one. Uh, just see what it says. Oh, look, a little bunny. Oh. Oh. Hercules, the ancient hare. Companion to the coven mother rests in her lap. Look at that. Oh, oh they're so pretty. Um, oh, she can pass messages on to the departed, but only on certain nights of the year, this young lady. Oh, I just... I, just can, haven't found the website, I can see how beautiful the images are. Uh, just amazing. Ooh, it was a mermaid. What does it say about that one? Cradling an infant mermaid. So just a mermaid, but she is Sarah Flood. <laughs> beautiful. Oh, that's nice. Shh. Hibernation, it says. Yeah, she might not want to do that. Oh, he's fast asleep. He looks like he's having happy dreams. Gorgeous, isn't it? Oh, sissy. Coven mother. She's the custodian of a lighthouse that I can't pronounce. Huel. Sea girls down here picture of, well, there's a dragon on the stone, but it's broken. There. What else can we see? Are those little moss fairy there? Isn't that lovely? She's got a beautiful face. Beautiful face. Summer solstice. So we've got dragons and crabs and little paper boats. Look at that. Is it sunrise? Yeah. So, welcomes the rising of the sun on June the 21st, which is summer solstice. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. This one's the gift. The griffin. Oh, it's just lovely. And this little story that goes with it is really nice. Ooh, look at her. She's gorgeous. The Winter Throne. The winter sun rises on the solstice above the oaken throne occupied by Sunday flowers. Isn't that beautiful? Look at that. Do you know what? A grayscale version would be amazing, wouldn't it? In the back there, there is a wolf, but it looks like it's made out of leaves. So is that like a spirit animal behind them, maybe? I don't know. Just lovely. Oh, dear. Nice. It's like zombified whatevers. They're a bit weird. She's carrying... A planet of some kind. Looks like Earth to me, but I don't know. Oh, so lovely, folks. There you go. So this is issue 85, Wildwood Witches Special. Let me just move that light off there. By Steve Hutton. I hope you've enjoyed it. I'm going to go off now and do some research as to what images I can find on their website of these. And maybe we can copy one and, and do it together. Let me know what your thoughts are, folks. I'm quite excited about this issue. I really am. All right, folks. Thank you so much for watching. I will be back really shortly with our next colour along together. I hope you'll enjoy it. 
So until then, take really good care of yourselves, folks. Bye-bye.